In some new changes could be headed to DuPont Forest. This comes as forest officials have been working to find ways to improve the hiking experience. News 13's Nisha Pettyhome has more. As you can see right behind me, I'm here at the final public drop-in for the DuPont State Recreational Forest Master Plan, where they are currently presenting to the public their latest recommendations and how they're looking to improve the DuPont Forest. So we've had input at public information meetings, like the one that's going on right now. We've had, this is the fourth of those, this is the last one. From those meetings, forest officials have come up with a few recommendations to improve DuPont Forest and find solutions that would help mitigate the high volume of people who comes in, whether they are hikers, bikers, equestrians, or walkers. More than 75% are gonna remain multiple use. There will be a few trails that are gonna be designated uh, specifically for equestrians and hikers and other trails specifically for bikers and hikers. Hikers will, hikers, trail runners, dog walkers will not lose access to any trails at all. These recommendations came from a series of input sessions like online surveys, parking lot surveys and focus groups to hear from the public on what they wanted to see changed. We do owe it to the citizens of North Carolina whose taxpayer dollars have funded this project to move forward with the recommendations that the consultant has made. But some are still not thrilled about potential changes. The changes were mostly catered towards mountain biking, which makes a certain set of trails uh, directional in favor of the mountain biker's experience at the expense of people on foot and on horseback. The current use of the trails is 99% fantastic for everybody. To make changes that cater to the bad apples seems a little um, counterproductive. Both Henderson and Transylvania County Tourism Development Organizations have also funded this project. Next steps? From this point we go into building a work plan and I think we're looking more at like an eight to ten year time frame to implement all of the recommendations. Some will be faster to implement than others and some like new trails will take uh, significantly more time. I'm Nija Pettyholm, News 13.